Hi, my name is Jill Jeffords and I'm South Carolina's Director of Ag in the Classroom. Have you ever wondered where all the pumpkins at the pumpkin patch come from? Today we're going to read a book, Pumpkin Circle, The Story of a Garden by George Levinson. The pumpkin seed makes the pumpkin plant and the pumpkin plant makes pumpkins. Deep within each pumpkin, the air is damp and cool. The walls are lined with teardrop seeds, each one a slippery jewel. Scrape them from their orange cave, wash away squishy mush, save a few to grow next spring, and have a bunch to munch. When the earth is soft and warm, plant those sleeping seeds. In about one week, out they peek, two fresh, young, fat green leaves. This garden will be home to many pumpkin cousins. One big pumpkin family, five varieties. Each one started from different pumpkin seeds. Every passing minute awakens each new plant, reaching down with silky roots, reaching up to dance. Week by week, the backyard patch spreads before your eyes, filling every inch of space with leaves and roots and vines. Huge green leaves grow toward the sky prickly, lush, and wide. They soak up sun and water and make a shady place to hide. Twisty tendrils grasp like hands, stretching out to cling. They roll down into fancy curls and wind up just like springs. Then silently as angels, flower buds appear with pointy little collars and gleaming silver hair. Velvet petals open, brilliant sunlit bowls, delicately fragrant, a sign of pumpkin gold. Along come the bees, floating through the air, buzzing, gathering, guzzling, zooming everywhere. Butterflies and spiders, grasshoppers and snails explore the pumpkin garden as they travel private trails. A hundred days of weather, a hundred days of care. Pumpkins climbing up the fence, pumpkins everywhere. Help those pumpkins sit up straight so they grow up round and proud. Scratch on pumpkin names so they stand out in a crowd. Or just sit back, enjoy the view. Pumpkins grow because pumpkins know exactly what to do. When summer turns to fall, green turns to gold, shorter days bring chilly nights and pumpkin vines grow old. Now comes the harvest, pluck treasures from the vine, clear away lifeless leaves, hide the rags of time. Gather up the finished fruit, ripe and fully grown, tidy up the garden, make a cozy pumpkin home. Salute the pumpkin circle, make way for pumpkin cheer, Behold the pumpkin miracle. We're pumpkin millionaires. Make up pumpkin faces, add bright candlelight. Set them on your doorstep. Let them flicker through the night. Every day those pumpkins change, getting older, getting strange. Sinking, shrinking pumpkin. Back to earth you go turning into muck and dirt, a place for seeds to grow. 
How did this begin? What is this pumpkin thing? Is there a Mother Nature? Is there a pumpkin king? We can be sure of this. It's a circle without end. It's pumpkin seeds to pumpkins to pumpkin seeds again. I hope you enjoyed this book. I love the figurative language that the author used to help it come to life. So when you get your pumpkin this fall, be sure to thank a farmer and all of the work that they put in so you can have some joy this October.